Uh, my name is Tony Otero, and I drive a 1977 Porsche 911, wide body. I guess it all started out when I was a kid. Um, I used to play a lot since I was a single child. Uh, I used to play a lot with slot cars, pre uh, preferably like AFX cars. And uh, I remember getting in the kit, when I built the track, I had these cars and two of them were Porsche 911s. They were both the same number, it was just different colors. And ever since then, and I still have those cars today, over 50 years. And um, I just loved the body line of the 911 and I was hoping someday I would be able to get it. I never knew that I could. I just, you know, you hope and wish as a kid, or even as a teenager growing up, that you can afford to get one. Uh, of course, back then, the money that these guys were getting were like anywhere between fifteen and twenty-five thousand dollars. And uh, obviously, you know, when I first got my license, it wasn't a, it wasn't a choice. I didn't have a choice to, uh, or affordability to get one growing up in inner city New Jersey. So. Um, but, you know, I, I stuck with the dream of hoping uh, I can get a car of, you know, that body style. And uh, eventually, fast forward, you know, after the military, uh, fast forward, you know, 30, 40 years, I came across a situation where I was able to afford one at a decent price. It looked nothing like what it looks like now. But, um, yeah, that kind of, that's where I kind of got started with the 911s. So back in the day, it was basically a Craigslist find. Uh, I don't know if they still have Craigslist nowadays, but Craigslist Marketplace. And I found a car. I was only searching in states that had that had dry weather. So that means New Mexico, Arizona, California, uh, Southern Oregon. And I came across this vehicle on a Craigslist ad, sight unseen, uh, out of Fresno, California, back in like 05, 04. So the car, like I said, it was a 1977 911S, wide-bodied. Uh, we had the wide body. The front uh, fender flares are off of an 87 Turbo. The rear quarters, uh, we had to get those out of Germany, new, new old stock out of Germany. We contacted Stuttgart and they were able to, able to allocate us back in 03, uh, allocate us um, rear uh, steel flares. So of course I had a body shop do all the work. Uh, they did all the work. The car was originally black with lobster red interior, which was a color in 77, a color option, uh, sunroofed. Um, it started out that way, and then I had a vision of basically recreating the little slot car that I had to recreate that because I just found the lines to be just very simple. No bumperettes, no nothing. Uh, fast forward a little bit more, when I was younger, uh, International Race of Champions, an IROC series of race cars, all identical race cars, just different colors with different drivers from different genres got together, put together by Roger Penske. He created a series and that's when the IROC series began. So they raced these cars um, and it had major players, Andretti, Rich Petty, uh, Fulmer, you know, Unters were involved and they had various drivers from various uh, genres of racing competing with the same car. And as the series progressed and throughout the years, they kept that for a number of years and they just kept changing the cars out. But when I saw that car, I found it to be the, Porsche, the perfect Porsche for me in the simplest form, uh, as minimal as possible. And that's what I've kind of gone after to try to recreate that, that same image. So basically, um, basically today we had a big thunderstorm here uh, that passed through and I was in it. Uh, I have no air conditioning. I got no creature comforts whatsoever. Uh, and I just drive it. It doesn't matter, rain or shine. It doesn't matter. I just drive it. Uh, the car's only been, today's, wa today's rain, I call it a wash because I've only washed the car three times in 23 years. The car's been garage kept. Now she was under, as I call the knife, for about eight years. There was eight years or nine years that the car was just being worked on. Constantly everything that I could do to it um, as far as all the details that I wanted involved in the car. So driving this car for me is, is like nothing else I ever feel. I mean, when, especially out here in the dry weather, 
I relocated here from Seattle, originally from Jersey, but um, being out here and the weather being the way it is, the tires are a lot stickier. I'm able to drive it. I drive it basically pretty much as fast as I can, wherever I can. Uh, and on the streets, you know, highways, it doesn't really matter. She's pretty dialed in. Uh, the person who did all the adjustment uh, and all the tuning and all the uh, setup for the car has recently passed away, Greg Fordall out of Seattle, Washington. He did all the adjustments and tire uh, corner balancing and whatnot. So we're still working on the car. It's still a work in progress. I got carburetor adjustments to make, but uh, the thrill of driving this car is not like nothing else. You know, I tell these guys, I've met a, a lot of wonderful people here in Tampa, uh, you guys included. And it's like, I go on these rallies with all these newer 911s and I cannot keep up with them to save my life. They blow by me like I'm standing still. But the whole, the catch for me is when we do stop, all the attention is given to her. And I like, I tell these guys, if it wasn't for her, those guys wouldn't be here. So. You know, I may be the great grandpa, but it's, uh, she's well loved and well liked out here in the community and uh, I'm just really humble and grateful for it.